Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to talk about one-to-one -one relationships. And they're actually valuable at times, although they are very rare. I can think of three good examples of why we might want a one-to-one -one relationship. Because after all, it does beg the question, if one record in one table is related to one and only one record in another table, why do we need a one-to-one -one relationship at all? Why don't we just put all the fields in one table and simplify this? Well, again, there are three reasons I can think of why a one-to-one -one relationship might be appropriate. One is security. Let's say you have fields that need to be secured in a different manner from a record than other fields. Then you might want to create a one-to-one -one relationship between those two tables and secure the table with the sensitive data in it at a higher level than the other table. Now remember, Access does not have inherent user level security. It's not a great tool for highly sensitive data, but nevertheless, you could make the sensitive data harder to find by pulling it out into its own table. The second reason would be if you happen to have a table that has more than 255 fields, then you'd have to create a one-to-one -one relationship to go beyond that number of maximum fields in a table. And I've seen that once. That's a lot of fields. But every once in a while, you'll just run into a situation where you have an enormous number of fields for one record. The third reason would be performance. Let's say you do have a table with hundreds of fields in it, and you only use 15 of those fields the majority of the time. Then it might make some sense to pull those 15 fields that you use all the time out into their own table and create a one-to-one -one relationship with the other fields so that you're not pushing around all of those fields every time you try to access a record. So security, sheer physical limitations, and performance are the three reasons why you might want to create a one-to-one -one relationship. And we're going to do that right now just to show you how it looks. I'm going to go into table design view and create a really quick little table here that tracks employees. I'm going to make the employee ID field an auto number field. And let's just put in a first name and a last name text field. Let's make the employee ID field the primary key field. It's going to automatically number itself. I'm going to go into data sheet view and save this and just add a few records so we have something to look at. Employee IDs one through four. And we're going to create a one-to-one -one relationship with these records in a, another table that we want to secure in a different way. And that is we're going to keep track of the employee's blood type. And because that's a medical issue, we just want to add additional security on that. And that's going to create a one-to-one -one relationship with the employee's table because each employee is going to have a unique blood type. So here we go. We are going to have to identify the employee and... I am going to make that a number data type because that's going to connect to that auto number field in the employees table. Then, of course, we're going to have to have a blood type. And I'm going to use the lookup wizard to provide the options for the blood type because I believe there's only a very handful, small number of blood types. A, B, I believe there's A, B, and O. And we're going to finish that. We're going to limit to that list. And then they also have an RH factor associated with that. That's also text. I'm going to again use the lookup wizard, type in the values I want, and that can either be positive or negative. Okay, now we've got table two, which is going to track the employee's blood type. And so what's the primary key field of this table? Well, again, it is the employee ID because each employee can only have a single blood type. So I'm going to save and close this one and call it blood types. So now I have my blood types table and my employees table. Let's go into relationships and I see the Microsoft system tables here. I don't need to look at those. I'm going to click each one and delete and put these two tables into my relationship screen so I can look at them. And as I grab one employee can have one blood type. So I'm going from primary key to primary key. I'm going to go ahead and enforce referential integrity. Given both of those fields are primary key fields, we know the relationship type is one-to-one, -one, 
and I'm going to click create. The only tricky part about this was that the employee ID in the employees table, I made an auto number data type. It's going to automatically number each employee. And when you connect an auto number field to another field, that field has to have a number data type. The auto number data type always connects to the number data type. And that's a one-to-one -one relationship because one employee can have one blood type and we wanted to separate out that data because we want to apply a different level of security on this information. Thank you.